Snapshot 23W41A is here with decorated pots becoming containers, realms now being available in snapshots and many more changes. My name is Sly Slime and I'm here to show you all the news. Let's start with the decorated pots. You can now store up to one stack of items in a decorated pot. Unlike most other containers it has no user interface, so you add items by interacting with the block while holding the item. Adding items this way will also trigger an interaction vibration of frequency 11. There's no direct way to take items back out, but breaking the pot causes the items to drop, both if you smash it with a tool and if you break it without smashing it. Trying to place items in an already full pot or trying to put an item in that doesn't stack with the items already in it will cause the pot to shake. Shooting the pot with a projectile will now also smash it, causing its contents to spill out. You can now also interact with the decorated pot using hoppers and hopper minecarts, both to insert and remove items from them, and can also add items using a dropper. Comparators read the number of items in the pot just like other containers and output a signal based on how full it is. In item form, decorated pots with the same decorations now stack up to 64. Let's move on to the other big piece of news for this version, which is that realms are now available in Snapshots. Since Snapshots are testing versions, you also get a separate free realm for each active realm subscription you have. This Snapshot realm will be separate from your regular realm to prevent any issues from impacting your regular realm, and is available in all Snapshots, pre-releases and release candidates. The realm being separate means not only the world, but also the invite list and other settings, so if you want, you can invite a different group of people to your snapshot realm than to your regular realm. One final piece of realms news is that you can now select to enable the built-in experiments when creating a realm. If you want to know more about this, there is a realms in snapshots FAQ that I'll link in the video description. Let's go on to gameplay news, where a number of problems have been fixed with brushing suspicious sand and gravel. Gravity now keeps applying to blocks even though you've started to brush out an item. You now stop brushing if you move to brush a block that is out of range, and entities no longer block the brushing action unless their hitbox is actually in the way. Renamed minecarts and boats will now show their names in the world when looked at just like mobs. The name also shows up in the title of chest boat and chest cart user interfaces, and the items keep the names when broken again. Arrows shot through a nether portal now remember the fact that they were shot by a player. That means things like player specific loot drops and death messages work, and you can no longer hurt other players with such arrows if the PvP setting is off. And pumpkins can now once again be carved. In mob news, if you attempt to feed a donkey, horse, mule or llama that has already eaten its fill, the food item will no longer be eaten without any effect. Vexus summoned by evokers now automatically join the team the evoker is on. In visual news, a bug causing the shield to stick right through a player's head when sitting in a boat and looking at certain directions has been fixed. In the user interface, the icon of the planks in the first time tutorial has been updated to the new plank texture. Some keyboard navigation issues have been fixed and menu sliders now use the old texture again when using the programmer art resource pack. In sound news, a bug has been fixed which was causing problems with the translation of the subtitles for failing to edit a sign. And decorated pots have new sounds for adding items. The sound also increases in pitch the more full the pot gets. And there's a sound for failing to add an item. In technical news, the data pack version is now 20, which brings news such as a new particle type and the return of the execute if function and return run commands that were removed before the release of Minecraft 1.20.2. If you want to know more about that, keep an eye out for a video all about that new data pack version coming shortly here on the channel. In performance news, a problem with text parsing performance has been fixed and another problem with the game getting stuck for a long time when joining or leaving a realm has also been fixed. And that's all for this time. My name is Sly Slime, thank you for watching, I'll see you next time.